Hello you beautiful people and welcome to today's video. So today I'm mainly going to talk about a book I just finished but before I do that I want to say I'm an I'm an idiot. I'm just I'm an, I'm, I'm an idiot. I'm sorry to say that but um, I was complaining about that my audio quality was very bad <laughs> and I did not adjust my microphone properly I made it point with its point <laughs> to the pop filter and you have to tilt it sideways so now the sound is much better I think <laughs> okay um, that out of the way in the background you're gonna see me drawing fan art for the book I want to talk about and that is the song of Achilles by Madeline Miller and I finished that book some days ago and it was such a good book. <laughs> I really um, enjoyed it. I, I'm, I'm a huge nerd for mythology, like of any kind. Greek and Nordic mythology is just my, my kind of thing. I love it a lot. So I found this book. I know that it was, <laughs> it was, it's very old um, by today's standards. It uh, was, it was, published some years ago, but I uh, found it through a video of Ovoli Sarcastic Productions who mentioned it and um, um, I needed to buy it. I needed to get that one. And on top I got Circe from the same author. I want to read it next, but first I'm going to read another book by Stephen King. So The Song of Achilles is what I wanted to talk about. And it was very pleasant to have a book that was kind of a short read. It has only about uh, 300 and a few more than 350 pages and was very pleasant to have something that was not that drawn out um, after I finished reading Stephen King's It, which has over a thousand pages. And yeah, <laughs> that was nice. And I I, I okay I'm, I'm giving you a brief summary and I'm trying not to not to if anyone has not read it um, I'm, I'm gonna try and not give you too many spoilers but be warned I may accidentally spoil it so yeah I'm, I'm trying my best to not do that so this song revolves the song the song <laughs> this book um, the song of Achilles revolves around Patroclus, who was a partner of Achilles, and um, I wanted to say partner in crime, but that's not accurate. Um, yeah, it, it, it's it's told from his perspective, and um, it's about it starts with the two being very young and how they met. And okay, I'm I'm gonna give you a little spoiler for the beginning because. I don't know if it's a spoiler really, but um, it happens in the first pages. So how they meet is um, Patroclus is a prince and his father is not, is not fond of him. He tries, he's, um, yeah, he's not treating him very well. So one day, one day Patroclus, um, there's another boy and he accidentally kills this boy and this is why he has to go to exile because that's how he's punished that's what the family of the boy wants so if i remember correctly and he gets sent to achilles his father and he gets trained with a lot of other boys that he has in his is it called castle i don't know in his fortress no it, it, where, he, where he lives <laughs> it's a lot of boys that he trains um to work for him and fight for him later on in life and he meets um achilles and achilles likes him a lot and they are like 12 or 13 i think and no younger i think and yeah they they come to like each other and they grow up together and you know stuff stuff goes down and it <laughs> it's it's just they are one of my mythological otps i i 
always kind of loved those two together and I think the way that Madeleine Miller portrays these two um, as the very different characters they are is just amazing and I really love how she portrays a lot of other um, characters in this myth and you know um, there's a lot of people who work with these mythological texts and stuff um, and they are very very sure that Achilles and Patroclus have been straight washed over the years and that they were really meant to be um, partners and yeah, it's very um, it's a very healthy relationship I think that is portrayed in the book like even if there are obstacles you have never really a lot of doubt that these two have a, a strong bond like you know what I mean? A lot of times when you have like these um, LGBTQ plus friendly books um, that portray these kind of relationships, um, you often have a lot have a lot of angst, um, like when one partner does know, and you know, there's not really much of that. They are a couple, and there's not really much to say about that. So I'm really, really, really looking forward to uh, reading Sirs uh, once I finish the one I'm reading right now. And it's, uh, I really love this writing style and the way she also portrayed um, Odysseus was like, I love him so much. He's amazing. Um, I don't know. I, I just would like to have the Odyssey written by her and just I would I would read the shit out of that <laughs> so yeah okay let's talk about the art I did for this video I just want to lay it in front of me so I can look at it because I'm recording this apart from the painting I did because if I'm making a speed paint out of things I can't record it um, simultaneously Sim sim simultaneously yes <laughs> um, with the voiceover in my software because my computer can't take that so I drew um, Patroclus and Achilles for this video and I struggled a bit with the composition what I wanted to do and stuff like that but I think it turned out pretty fine <laughs> to I you know uh, if you've watched my previous sketchbook tours you know that I struggled a bit with my style and I'm kind of adapting to a mixture of the one I have developed and the one I had before um, art school so I tried to work with that so on the left we have um, Patroclus how I imagine him to look like and um, Achilles on the other side how's how he's described in the book and yeah um, I have a lot of watercolors um, in this video and the reason why there are so many boxes of watercolors is that these are the ones my wife makes herself and we, uh, here's a little advertisement, <laughs> we sell them on Etsy and um, yeah I wanted to use them in a whole painting because I haven't done that very often because I don't do that many finished paintings these days so yeah, I um, went for a bit of a more detailed look with the hair and stuff, and I I really had a lot of fun. I yeah, I I just I just liked it, and I planned from the beginning on to put this big golden area in the um, in the background. So yeah, <laughs> there's really not that much to say. I kind of I I like how this turned out, and. Um, I like their faces and stuff. I first thought about doing a nature scene, but that kind of... Um, I could not get the composition right. It just looked kind of strange. I could not uh, make, the, make the two look like I imagined them, and I clearly have to practice more backgrounds to um, pull that off. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. I... yeah. There's nothing that meant that much to say about this. Um, the paper I used was, let me look, it's a um, drawing pad from a German store called Büsner, and it's the 
Aquarell 300. 300. Uh, Watercolor Block Matte Natural White 300 GSM. 20 Shades uh, 29.7. Um, 80, uh, 21 centimeters acid free and age resistant. I bought these um, drawing pads ages ago, <laughs> but they're kind of nice. I really like them, and they're kind of inexpensive as well. So, yeah, I really, 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 really enjoy um, making these book videos lately, and that's because. I really try. <laughs> I really start to uh, enjoy reading again because it's distracting me from things <laughs> that happen right now in the world and that make me worry a lot. And yeah, I sometimes you just have to distract yourself with art and other mediums like watching a series or reading a good book. And I I really enjoy reading right now. It gives me something to hold in my hands and to you know um when i watch a series i'm oftentimes sitting there and i'm like wow i need to do something with my hands and i can't draw all the time because my hand is a bit strained and i oftentimes when i draw when i watch a series or a movie i get distracted by my drawing and i really don't pay attention even though i really want to know what's happening so when i watch something and i really want to pay attention to what's happening in the plot i can't really draw <laughs> on the side but i'm still trying to watch a few things like uh, we watched castlevania um the third season started watching it yesterday so no not yesterday um the week before and yesterday we watched another episode so there's that and yeah i i really enjoy making this book videos what what's uh, what i wanted to say <laughs> i i'm sorry i'm rambling so much but you should be used to that by now so yeah i don't really have anything more to say i don't know how long the um, spit paint video is gonna be so if it's over <laughs> then it's over and if not then um, I will put some music underneath the drawing um, the last bit of the drawing and then you can watch that with some mu music on and yeah so yeah I don't have anything more to say I thank you very much for watching and I see you next time and until we see each other please do something that makes you happy bye from me now